Hey, achievement. Sir, is a mysterious organization hidden from the public until just recently. And students trained for the express purpose of keeping that shady organization alive. What kind of children must they be? I was told that over half of students are felons. I try not to judge a book by its colour, but I can't help it in this case. What if they're motorbike riding hooligans with mahuckins and studded leather jackets? Well, it's not bloody grease. <laughs> what if they're a bunch of female Mr. Blondes who look perfectly normal on the outside, but are actually complete psychopaths who are humming dance bows they lop your ear off if you tip them over the edge? What on earth have I gotten myself into? I tend to believe that failing in life won't kill you, but this is the sort of choice that could easily cost me my life if I mess up. What should I do? I'm sweating bullets. Don't look so nervous. They may be assassins, but not as scary as you'd think. And anyway, there are only five students in class A, including me. Don't worry about us ganging up on you. They're just normal kids when they're not in the field. You'll be fine. It's just the ones in our line of work tend to be a bit immature for their age. Oh, now that you mention it, I guess their physical and mental maturity are inversely proportional. There's something a bit childish about how their big ones behave and little ones that act strangely grown up. I wonder if that's the only case with us. The kids in this class can outperform any adult when it comes to field work, but they all like life experience and they have huge gaps in their knowledge. Not if you let them! <laughs> oh, sorry, that face you made reminds me of a little school kid waiting in line for vacation. Even grown-ups get scared of injections, though they have to put on a brave face, especially in front of children. I'll try my best. You try your best. That's right, we'll have to say she should get through to them, at least. And if it does, show her the intent behind my words. Morning, is everyone here? It's just a run-of-the-mill classroom. Nothing looks out of place, except the bloody shotgun hiding behind the table. Oh, the desks are neatly lined up, the room is spotlessly clean, and there isn't a single piece of trash on the floor. The only thing that strikes me as strange is the fact that there are only two students here. Like it's a remedial study session during the summer break. Oh, it's Kristen, uh, Raina. Huh, just you guys. Saying this, the girl points to a card on a nearby desk, it reads, on a mission. Ah, oh, now you mentioned she did report that in. When did she say she'd be back? Nine hours! Right, I see. We should be able to wrap this up quickly without the noisy of the bunch around. Though I'll be annoying dealing with her grumbling later. I like their uniforms, eh? Yeah, they're quite nice. No, I can wait. She still she gets back. Even more importantly, I'd like to see. If, oh well, I butchered that. No, it can wait till she gets back. More importantly, I'd like to introduce our new teacher. Everyone, take your seats. <laughs> what two? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> where the hell is she sleeping? Well, where did she come from? What's wrong? <laughs> Oh, did you only just notice, Ninja? I'll introduce her later. So she's obviously, you know, sneaks up on people constantly. Did he say Ninja? Huh? Wait a... Huh? Uh, it's been a since a while since we've... <sighs> uh, it's been a while since we've had a homeroom teacher, but... Now a new one's arrived. Miss Arisaka Shiori. Shiori. 
Could you write your name on the blackboard, miss? Oh, does she not know how to write? Oh, poor dear. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh... Yeah, come on, I want to know. Oh, Well, everyone ends up at this school for a reason. You're better off not knowing, really. Lessons officially begin tomorrow. We're missing one person today, but if you'd all like to introduce yourselves. Let's start from the youngest on the school register, Raina. She's the youngest? Hmm? Huh? I'm fucking... I'm just going to call you Raina. Uh, by master, she means me. You don't have to be so specific. The point is that she uses guns. When's your birthday? Okay. Only 10% of all animals prey on animals that are bigger than they are. And that 10% includes humans. Though even for us, large animals are harder to digest. That's what you want to say, right? Oh, she likes beef. In other words, you're a carnivore. Throw and through. Good for you. Bread. Eat that chair right now. That's right, remember her as Greedy Guts Gunwoman and you won't go wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Greedy Guts. <laughs> Somehow I thought she was more the Red Ranger type, but maybe she's actually more of a Yellow Ranger. She does have a good complexion and she's blessed with height and long lips. That's what I was going to say, you know, she looked bigger than the rest of them and she's the youngest. Plus her lips are really soft and plump. What are you, Hannibal Lecter? Or Buffalo Bill? Oh, they could pop at any moment. She's brimming with youth. She calls herself a carnivore and she seems kind of absent-minded too. What an intriguing kid. Next time is, um, Toka, but uh, she's not here. Oh, I see the trouble one, you know, I want to do things on my own. I don't need you. <laughs> I could do it on my own, I don't need your help. She's aggressive towards everyone she meets. She doesn't even bother showing the tiniest bit of politeness to her seniors. Oh, I'll bloody make her start having a bit of discipline. Throw a piece of paper at her and see what happens. Oh, 
I called it, didn't I? <laughs> Thank you, someone said it. Another one of Togo's trades is the way she gets violent for no apparent reason. Yeah, she did lose it over a tiny tomato, didn't she? Because you don't feed into her, you are just being polite. <laughs> you want to take that? Oh. Oh, you poor sensitive child. Is that why the principal's always wailing on him? <laughs> uh oh. I thought you were on a mission. Toko, you're back. <laughs> oh, sorry, you weren't finished. Oh. <laughs> All right, cute. Yeah, and that's Tolka. All right, as you can see, she's a bit annoyed. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you see what you've done? Now she's scared. Toka, that's a teacher you're talking to. This is our new homeroom teacher, Miss Arisaka. Oh, I don't like that look. Got anything else to say? Oh. Oh, well, thank you. You're not a meanie after all. But Markman, she means how best to explain it. Jeez. Couldn't shoot a guy in a leg, though. This one may look like an idiot, but she cleared a test that only 10 and 200 were able to pass. Despite appearance, she's actually a pretty smart kid. <laughs> it's not it sounds like we're making fun of you, we actually are making fun of you. Well, we do have a teacher in the room. Yeah, no kidding, I agree. Well, that's how she is anyway. Isn't she a cutie? <laughs> Look out, man. Ow. It's weird, but we can't bring ourselves to hate her even when she comes out with stuff like that. In any case, just remember her as an adorable little sniper. Calm down. What an amazing kid, in more ways than one. Sure she seems pig hair, but it's kind of endearing. She reminds me of a little stray kitten. Oh. I don't know what kind of hardship she's faced. I guess she won't allow herself to accept the kindness of others. 
Or maybe she only latched onto you if she can withstand her tantrums. Or maybe she got close to people and they just kept dying. She doesn't seem like a bad kid. Though she might be a bit of a handful. Don't call her cute. Next up is Chris. Hi. Hello. I was going to say, is your name like Christina? <laughs> You're rude. You got the easy job. So you're essentially the maid. You guys, you, you depend on Chris for way too much. So she's like the brains and, you know, the, just makes everything done and ready to go. <laughs> nice. Short and simple. Thank you, Doke. You can remember as Chris the Class Mum. Aww. Oh, don't take it to heart. No, it's more, how do I put it, your whole vibe. You're a caring person. You just want to make sure everyone's okay. She looks like the calmest of them. Yeah, I thought that when, you know, when she was cooking. She could be a wolf in sheep's, cl sheep, sheep's clothing, though. I feel like she's the one in class you'd least want to cross. Don't you touch her babies, let's put it that way. Or maybe not. Everyone here is a bit special after all. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Last up is Murisaki. The ninja! Yo! I like her scarf. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I, was, I don't know why. <laughs> Could she be testing me or something? I'm, it's cool that there's different sort of nations. You know, Russian, Western. So are you mainly stealth, you know, close encounter? CQC? No need to look so flustered, Miss Arisaka. Of course not. She attended what's left at Imperial Army's Nakano School, and used to be a spy for the Imperial household in their youth. Before coming to Yumihama, she's a proper ninja from the days of yore. Shit. No real ninjas. I'm looking at one. You. Yes, you. Oh, okay. She always looks like she's sleeping. Every time I look at her eyes, I yawn. Oh, we got a gamer. Rock on. Interesting kid, right? Let me guess. She knows how to stab you in 3,000 different places. That's all the students in class say. 
They can be a bit of a handful sometimes, I'm afraid, but they're all yours now. Oh, they all seem so sweet. Save. Dink. Will I really do a good job of it, I wonder? I'll be teaching here in this max security prison of a school. Every student ended up here under exceptional circumstances. And this class was created to recruit students for real life secret missions. When one of them returns from battle, the stench of gunpowder immediately assaults their senses. That astonishingly violent smell isn't one I've caught a whiff of before. Certainly not the sort of perfume you expect a normal school girl to wear. If any of them die, it will break my heart. Until now, I've tried my best not to get myself involved, to distant myself from that world. But I suppose the apple doesn't fall far from the tree after all. I'll end up putting down roots here and eventually spread my branches too. Even after running away, I'm afraid of coming just like my mother. What did she do? I want to know. 